In this video today, I will show you how you can use the subtitle function from DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and ChatGPT to create your own translations of your subtitles. So let's say I record a video in English. I have this one here already in DaVinci Resolve. I make a subtitle of that one and then I want to translate everything to another language. It's very simple and I'll show you how this works. So first of all, if you are in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, you can create a subtitle simply just by coming to this icon here. Here on top, you will find create subtitles from audio and I can even say what kind of language this is so I made a test file in English so I use this in English but could you you could even do this here in different languages as well so this one is now English so I say create then it will create my subtitle boom now my subtitle is created I have a new track here which is the subtitle so now I can't export this subtitle from the cut page for that purpose you need the edit page it's this one here if you don't know how to open the edit page here on my channel I have a video I explain you very simple how you can unlock all of the pages it's basically just a shortcut so watch the other video if you are on the edit page however here when we right click the subtitle track we can actually export our subtitle so we do this now I come here to my downloads you can give it a name if you want subtitle in English okay so double check here in my files, I have my subtitles in, in English. So to open this, there's different ways how you can open this, but I have an app here on my iPad. So if I longer press on this one and I say share, I can now open this app in different apps. So in the app that I'm using is RuneStone. I don't pay for that one. There's a paid version as well, but it's a free version. RuneStone is basically an app that lets you code and stuff like that. But you can also open this in any text browsers. You basically just have to open it so you can copy all of it. And we look at this file, we see how, okay, number one, the timestamps and our English test. So we copy all of this. And now we come over to ChatGPT. You need an account for ChatGPT, but it's also free. And then you can open a new chat here. And it's always good to be polite. So can you help me translate this SRT subtitle file into German or whatever language you prefer? And then I copy this complete text and I say send, certainly. And now it's creating with all of the timestamps in German what I just created. So, and now what I can do is I can actually copy all of this, come back to my app where I opened everything. And what you can now do if you want, you can create a new text document or I just replace it with this one, done. So this is now the same document. And now when I'm coming back here to DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, what I can do is here in my media bin, say import media. And now I come back here to my downloads. And because I replaced this document, you can also save a new one. Like I said, I have this document, the subtitle now in here. I can drag and drop this down here, deactivate this one, activate the subtitle too. And boom, voila, I have my subtitles now in German. And this is a way how you can translate your subtitles into a different language and use them straight in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad with ChatGPT. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I made a complete masterclass from beginner to pro where I teach you everything about the color page, about everything to become a pro. There's a link here in the description, so check it out. We see us in the next video. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding and -ding the bam-bang gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.